Oh yes, it's Nick's shell. This is me waking up in the morning today, looking in the mirror. Some of my more interesting videos happen to do when I really show you how much hair loss I really do have. I mean, it's like looking at a girl's, you know, doll where you can see the plugs. I mean, I, obviously I haven't had any kind of procedures done. I understand it looks that way because it's so thin. But what I want to focus on today is why a guy like me can't have spiked hair. Obviously, with I've got it going back on both sides here. But even if I, let me show you, even if I had it just straight up, it makes it too obvious. Even aside from that thinning that you can see, it just looks, it's too obvious. So at some point when you have receding hairline, you can no longer have hair sticking straight up. The closest thing I've came, uh, seen of this is on Captain America, but he parts his hair a certain way to where he's got enough coming from this way, it's not parted all the way over. So a guy like me can't really have spiked hair anymore because it just isolates this that, mu that much more. It makes it very obvious that I've got a receding hairline. So that's something I hadn't really thought of until I saw it in a picture a couple years ago uh, for the like the uh, magazine that my company works for that, that my it's the magazine for our company I'm trying to say and I saw the picture they did of me and, and that day I had I was trying to go for the spiked look and I was like oh wow I've got a receding hairline like, that's that's when I really noticed how it was I mean I mean why why would I do this it just it just isolates and brings attention to the problem area. So that's why I come here all the way over because that way it doesn't accentuate what's going on here. If I can just come here all the way over and push it over, it just downplays the whole situation. And that's, that's what I'm good for is downplaying my receding hairline and my hair loss. So I think this is a very good video. It shows you exactly a closer look on what's going on. And so, when people are tempted to say that uh, I haven't lost enough hair, I want to direct your attention to this video just to kind of remind you, yeah, I'm not bald, but the, the process has clearly begun. It's not just a receding hairline. It's, it's the process of balding at age 35 and a half. I'm Nick Shell. Thanks for watching my video.